Ciao bang, hi and welcome to Tasty KV Kitchen. Today I am going to show you a delicious dessert. It's called a sweet uh, sticky rice mango dessert and it's a perfect ending to any meals. This is super delicious and easy to make since we're not uh, going to pre-soak the rice or anything. We're going to do it uh, uh, right away and cook right away and enjoy, be able to enjoy it in no time. Okay, we're adding sticky rice, and then we're gonna go uh, clean it. Um, but with this recipe, since we're using the rice cooker, we're not going to need to soak it in uh, hot water or overnight it or anything because the rice cooker is fast and easy. Just make sure you don't put too much water because we don't want the sticky rice to be soggy. Okay, let's go um, clean it and uh, cook it. So uh, if you uh, just follow for the sticky rice, just make sure you don't put too much water. If you use two cups of sticky rice, just do two cups of water only. Do not do extra because we don't want it to be soggy. Soggy sticky rice does not taste good. Traditionally, uh, we use a steamer, but if you use a steamer, you have to soak your rice overnight to help it uh, cook better and faster. But since we're not uh, soaking it and, you know, we're like last minute type, we are using a rice cooker, just make sure, because and then after you're done cooking, we're gonna submerge it into coconut syrup and all, so we don't want it to be sog soggy rice. So make sure you just do even amount of water. If you do two cups of sticky rice, then just do two cups of water. So so I, uh, I'm using the frozen uh, pandang leaf. It's, it comes in a package, frozen and pre-cut to this size. I use about uh, four to five pieces, and I'm just going to toss it in here so why uh, the uh, sticky rice is being cooked it be infused with the pandang leaf uh, 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 during the cooking so okay I'm just gonna close the lid and press uh, set the menu to uh, sticky rice mode and press cooking why it while the sticky rice is being cooked, we're gonna go prepare the rest of the re uh, recipe. So our recipe requires us to use one whole can of coconut. Uh, I love this coconut uh, cream brand. I think it's uh, it tastes good. Uh, it's creamy and uh, just uh, I, I use this for majority of my cooking. Um, if it requires coconut uh, cream or coconut milk, I tend to go towards this brand. Anyhow, uh, we are going to split this, uh, uh, I would say, <laughs> so we're going to use uh, half for the uh, coconut rice and the other half we're going to use it for the uh, coconut, um, uh, coconut cream top sugar. Salt. Uh, so I mix coconut cream, sugar, and salt in here, and then uh, when the sticky rice is cooked, we're gonna dump it in here, and then we're gonna uh, mix it, and uh, that's the sticky rice part. So our sticky rice uh, is done cooking. As you could see, the steam. So we're gonna remove the pandang uh, leaves out, and then we're gonna scoop scoop the rice, and then we're gonna dump it into the coconut sugar syrup that we did. I'm just gonna dump the co uh, the sticky rice into the coconut syrup mixture, and then we're gonna I'm gonna put it on the stove to mix it for a good uh, minute, just so the uh, sugar can melt. I just turn on the fire, uh, just on low. It's just gonna be like a quick minute. I like my uh, uh, you know uh, coconut cream and sugar and sticky rice to be combined well. As you can see, our sticky rice is perfect. It's not uh, soggy or anything. And um, and that's the texture we want. It, it, will, it will dry out really quick. Once uh, once this is combined, we we uh, we turn off the fire, it will combine and, and the liquid will dry out. It will just look like coconut. It will just look like sticky rice. Can't even tell. So uh, our uh, sticky rice, uh, I have turned on the uh, stove for about a minute now. You can see it's well combined. It's, it looks creamy and coconutty and then now it's all dry out. It's, uh, 
It's good. We're going to turn off the fire. We only need it to sizzle, uh, the, turn on the stove for about a minute, a minute and a half, and you should be good. So now we're going to turn off the fire, and we're going to work on the coconut topping. Okay, so the remaining uh, coconut, we're going to use it for our uh, coconut cream topping. Just make sure you, you know, get all of it. So this uh, uh, can produce about two cups of coconut milk. So basically I split it one cup for the coconut rice and the other cup for our coconut cream topping. So I'm adding sugar and I'm adding salt. So the coconut topping that we mixed earlier, now I put it uh, uh, on the stove and I'm working, I turn on the fire, low heat. So we're gonna let it boil and then we're gonna uh, mix the uh, rice flour and uh, uh, water and then we're gonna combine it in here uh, as well. So I'm just uh, stirring the coconut cream mixture. So I just, what I did is I just used the uh, uh, rice flour, I put the rice flour and water into the uh, coconut measuring cup we did earlier and we're just gonna combine it with our coconut cream and stir it. So uh, it has been about uh, six minutes now. Uh, we're cooking the coconut cream in low heat. Uh, so you could see this is the consistency we want. Uh, I didn't want it too thick, so um, this is good. We're gonna turn off the fire and then we're gonna go and prepare our mango. So uh, we are going to prepare our mango. Mmm, I can smell the freshness of the mango already. So what we're doing is we're gonna cut the top layer as close to the seat as possible. And then we're gonna cut it on an angle. So uh, I, I am peeling on the other side. Just um, you need the right mango for this. If you freshly buy from the store, it needs to turn like bright orange uh, in order for you to cut this. Uh, if it still has some green, that means it's not ripe. So your mango won't be sweet. So cut it close to the seed and then I cut it in an angle like this. Okay, so our sticky rice is done. I'm gonna assemble it. Gonna, gonna put our mango, add our mango in there, okay now I'm gonna add coconut cream. You can whisk it a little bit. And then we're going to add a little bit of crusted peanut. And you can add sesame seed or if you're allergic to peanuts, do not include peanut, obviously. But uh, we like it with peanuts. And I'm going to add a little bit of sesame seed too. I'm just tossing a little bit of roasted sesame on top. Okay, now that our sticky our mango sticky rice is completed, uh, we have two taster. Uh, we'll uh, try out the mango sticky rice for us. Um, go ahead, girls. Let me know how you like it. <laughs> I think it's good. There you have it, a delicious dessert that is a perfect finish to any meal of the day or even family gathering. Uh, if you want to recreate this dish at home, I will have the full description uh, on the below. And don't forget to so like, subscribe to Tasty KV Kitchen for more amazing recipe. Until next time, happy cooking.